I'm letting the cats out. This is our third hotel experience in New York. Look at your pretty self. We just had a really long day, long weekend, because we had to go back to Philly and then drive all the way back. So it's been a lot transporting the cats everywhere that I go. But here we are in our third hotel. You guys had asked me about the last hotel because look at that. She's exploring. You like the last hotel. Well, this one is the same branch as the other one. It's called Walker Hotel, and I like it so far. Just checked in for New York to have all of this. I have a desk, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I have a big window, which I like, and the cats get sit up here, which is great. Do me replay in my mind of you and your intentions. The bathroom is actually really big for New York. It's a pretty decent sized shower. You know what I mean? All right, this is perfect. I'm really happy. Yes! Oh. That was such a long ride. We hit so much traffic. They're getting really used to and adjusted to being on the go. We don't have a home right now, so it's like a lot of flip-flopping. You know what else is cool? The TV closes. Look, I can shut this if I want. I get so happy when they explore and they look happy in the hotel. Aw, all right, this is good. The hotel that we're in now is in Greenwich Village. And I used to call it Greenwich because <laughs> I didn't know any better. We're here for four nights and then we will decide where to go next. Where will we be? I always like to bring blankets that they are familiar with so that they get cozy. Good morning, guys. In New York, Sundays are free street parking. So I had free street parking, but you have to wake up early to move your car. And I'm really tired, by the way, I hardly slept. But it's raining out, so I figured I want to explore. So I'm gonna just do it in my car so I can learn the neighborhoods. I just started to drive to the east side. And it's not bad. I feel like it's important to see what it's like in the daytime and nighttime. I like when there's people out. I just go and go and go, and I literally have no idea where I am most of the time. I just like stopped and I looked at the map. Tell me how you say this. Stoy Vestant, that's the neighborhood I guess I'm in. This is so funny. I think I just automatically discovered something, which I never realized before. Now I'm in this neighborhood, Alphabet City, which I'm assuming that it's called Alphabet City because the avenues are like A, B, C, D. I think it might stop at D. At the bay. <laughs> Just got the deep. Hi, what's your name? Alice. I'm Stella. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Are you like this? Yeah. Okay. Hi, they're cute. They're actually creeps. They just got off the bus and they're like, oh my god. What a surprise to meet them in New York, not in Philly. <laughs> I was gonna do this, but I just went and saw an apartment for the first time. Well, this one is actually for sale. I decided that I've been procrastinating a little bit too long and just like exploring neighborhoods and not being proactive and not looking at properties. So I was like, let me just look on the map. I'm curious how much things are. And this had an open house. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go check it out. And I like it, but it was a reasonable price, but the freaking condo fees were $4,000 a month just the condo fee on top of paying for the place. But it was a nice place and it was kind of good because I got my feet wet, saw my first place. Oh my God, I don't know if you remember. I actually will eat the dirty street nuts in New York, but I found a place that makes them fresh and they're clean. <laughs> oh my God, they smell amazing. Oh my God, guys, I love this store. It's so good, they let me taste it. <laughs> I just bought some. It's so hard every time I cross like one neighborhood. I don't know if I'm in the next one. It's it's a little hard to understand the map. There's only one way to learn. Gotta keep doing it. After riding bikes all day, I took myself out to eat. I am at this Mexican restaurant. It's really good. Oh my god, I, I love it so far. I got skirt steak tacos. This was like a 
queso con dito. It's got shishito peppers. You put this on the tortillas and it's really good. I'm enjoying New York. It's weird. I had like a little part of the day where I was slightly lonely and I guess it was because I got lost. I was supposed to meet up with somebody and I took the subway to Queens by accident and I was supposed to be at Central Park. I missed that whole thing and then I just was exploring by myself. I felt lonely because I didn't know how to fix my problem of how to get where I wanted to go. I ended up making the day nice and I made friends with the hostess. She's really nice. It's constant. <laughs> oh, and this is the chef. We made Hi. friends with the chef, too. Chef John. <laughs> chef John. The food's amazing. <laughs> yeah? I said that, yeah, I love it. It's great. <laughs> One of the slight concerns I had while moving to New York was not knowing many people. Because I know people that live here, but I'm not like great friends with the people that live here. So I was like, well, how am I going to meet people? But I'm surprisingly meeting people pretty easily. Just by doing things and going all over the place. Like the hostess is so nice. I just met the chef. Nice to see you guys. Don't be afraid to do stuff. Just go for it, you know? Like, it's like my hoodie says, do more of what excites you. I love going out to eat, so I need to do more of what excites you. <laughs> well, that was so amazing. And I'm making new friends, like I said. The chef came and sat with me, and they caught my whole check. <laughs> that was very good food. I saw a place, I don't know what this is, but it's called Cave and Candy. I'm going in there, because you know I love candy. Oh, it's like bongs. Oh, that's whack. Just regular candy, it's not like special stuff. I am in the West Village, which I learned over dinner because I wasn't sure where I was. And I like it here. But I saw everybody walking by with ice cream cones and I'm trying to find where the ice cream came from. Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm not getting ice cream. They're closed already. <laughs> I should have told the chef that you know the food's good when you get a stain on your shirt. <laughs> Something splashed. I've been like the biggest pig lately. I found an ice cream truck. <laughs> Yummy. 